this is the um, the Mafia 3 uh, money glitch. It's crazy. Some people still, yeah, I know this is old as hell, but some people still don't know about this. And I found out about it um, before the videos. I had, um, was in the French ward, and I clicked the, um, what's the thing where you see the guy, the intel view, where you see that the enemy's looking for you. And then she, I saw this yellow box sitting back there. I said, like, what the hell is that? And I went to go see what it was. And it was the money. This is before, um, it says before, before you, before it said, follow the bag, man. And I went back there and kept going back. Next thing you know, you was good with it. You don't have to worry because, uh, because I think by the time I got in the French ward, probably like, like 200,000, 200,000, or something like that. And then, um, you're probably gonna need more because, um, every time you, every time you reload your equipment, or call Vito's guys in, uh, uh, say, 3,000, 3,000, that goes fast, so, see, it's money glitch here, because, yeah, that, it, cause it goes, it goes super fast, and, it, and then, the, and then, and then the, the, uh, the bulletproof, bulletproof vest, that's 3,000. Hey guys, it's Adrian D12 here, and in today's video, I have a Mafia 3 money glitch. It's like unlimited money. So if you guys do like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. And if you guys do want to see more Mafia videos, just please comment down below if you want to see them, or if you don't, you don't want to see them. Okay, so let's get right into this video. Before we start, Downtown. to unlock this glitch, you need to be in the French War. Yep. So, you guys have to fully take over the downtown area. So, once you took over the downtown area, you should unlock a French ward and we can start the glitch. The first step is that you have to talk to Big Jim and he should give Jim. you some side missions. Detective Jim McCombs. The first side mission is this one right here. What you have to do is kill everyone, then interrogate him. You can either choose to kill him or recruit him. Mm, broke his arm rough with it. The next side mission is this one right here. When you arrive, you have to do the same thing, kill everyone, and then interrogate him. Once you interrogate him and kill all the guys, this annotation should pop up and we can finally start the glitch. Now, just drive around this area until you find a follow car. That's Once the you bag. Find a follow car. Just follow it back. The bag, man. Yeah, but y'all, um, I found out before that, like I said in the beginning, because um, <clears throat> it was just crazy. I hit that the, the uh, that button, the Intel view. I was like, "What the hell is that?" So I drove back behind that little uh, look like a look, look like a warehouse when you get in there. And I was like, "Oh crap!" I think it was like ten grand. So yeah, because it was like you keep going back, you hit like a million or whatever you're trying to hit. It, it takes a while, but yeah, you just keep going back and going back. You know, I remember one time, um, it only happened once, I went back there to get the money, and the guy in the car was sitting back there. I was like, oh, crap. So I turned around and got the hell out of there. But, um, yeah, that crap, that, that crap is something else. And this, uh, I don't know how old the game is, like seven, five, six, seven years old, yeah, 2023, it's, it's still working. A matter of fact, even without the update, it still works. But I noticed um, with the definitive edition, and now when I play the um, the regular version of Mafia Three, it acts weird now. Like when you play the regular before the upload, I mean the upgrade. When you play the regular version and you like whistle at the guys, they don't they don't get angry or nothing. They just they just walk real slow. But when you have when you have the, uh, the update, then they start getting pissed off again. Like what the hell is that? And he's like. He's like, ah, shit, I can't ignore that. And then I start getting mad. It'd be funny as hell, um, some of their responses, though. Um, like the one dude, I call him the shotgun man, because he has the, the, the hat, and he, he's, he's always got the, the shotgun. He's like, somebody better be fucking with me. He's, he's like, he's, he's like, your ass is mine now, boy. It'd be, it'd be funny that some of the stuff they'd be saying. I'm t talking about something else, just talking about the gangs. I, I told you I done figured this out before this, but it'd be funny, like, that black bitch is mine, and he's saying all kinds of things, and have you laughing, and, and do it, the guy, the guy, the one guy said, you cut like butter, I was like, I wish I could talk to the, uh, 
the creators of this game, but some of the some of the shit do be funny though. Yeah. Cause I'm trying to think what else they be saying. Um They be saying they be saying some weird stuff in the game too. Like I remember the one dude, I was like, what the fuck? The guy said, um, He's like, I'm about to have a big fart. I'm going to share it with you in a minute. And I was like, what the hell is saying shit like that? <sighs> and then the guy said, uh, what did the one guy say in the warehouse? He's like, I got to look at your ugly mug all day. <laughs> they be saying all kind of stuff. <laughs> and the one guy, he was getting frustrated with the heat. He was like, it's hotter than hell, damn it. <laughs> and then that one guy was like, uh, what do you say? He said if it gets in, if he said if it gets any hotter, I'm gonna shoot myself. I mean, they be saying some funny shit in the game, though. It's, it's ridiculous. To the location. But getting back to this here, tailing. Yeah, he's trying to um, track them. Together. Yeah, and that's the other thing. The street cars are better than some of the regular cars. Like that red, like the red, the Saab he's driving. That's the car. The car he's driving and the, the car that he's following. I meant. Yeah, he has some nice cars in the game. He's speeding up the game. I mean the video. There you go. Yeah, this area right here. A little warehouse. Once you follow the cart to the destination, just kill everyone until you make it inside. Mm, right in his neck. When you finish killing everyone, make your way to the back yep. and pick up the money. Sitting there waiting for you. Once you got all the money, I didn't do all that. I just, go go, I just went straight to it when I noticed, when I clicked that Intel view exactly thing. I said, what the hell? I couldn't believe it. You should stop right where the arrow is. But since it was my first time, I went pretty far. That's how you do it. When you go back to the warehouse, just make your way to the back again, and the money should be there. So guys, just keep on repeating this method as much as you want, because it only lasts once. Once you exit the game, turn no. off your PS4, it will all, like, the money won't come back. Now that part, now that's probably correct him on that, I'm not even being funny. Um, like I said, if you just go straight to the mission, I mean, not to the mission, straight to the, uh, after you, uh, talk to, uh, or get out and interrogate those guys, you don't got to do all that. Just go straight to the thing. And you know, it's auto, auto save. So it'll, it'll, it'll be like, say if you save, um, 40 grand or something like that. Now, even if you leave it, you know, it's just still in your wallet, not in the, um, not in your vault. Even if it's still in the wallet, it'll still be sitting there when you start the game over. So you don't have, so you have to worry about it, um, disappearing. So until it'll stay there. Until um, either you finish that mission or you finish the French Ward completely. So, because man, when I've seen, oh boy, I've seen that thing like, and that was, um, and now that I know, I beat the game like 100 times, you know, not 100, but like 10 times, I already know where the money spots is. So by the time I get to the French Ward, I got two or three grand anyway, because I know where all the money spots are. It's it's risky doing that because you don't have the, um, what's that called? The, the Clastigli, whatever her name is, the Clastigli area, you don't have the, um, Vito's guys backing you up, so you gotta be, uh, really extra quiet walking in there, cause they'll be like, what in the hell? I was like, I better check this shit out. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, you know, cause the guys, once they hear you, even if you run fast, they'll hear that, cause that little meter starts moving. But yeah, as long as you, um, go straight to it after you, um, talk to the, uh, guys and stuff. It, it, it should stay there, even if you cut the game off. Well, he's, I don't think he knew about this, but he, well, he, if he sees this video, he'll know it, because, yeah, you just keep keep going back to it. Like you said, even with the updates and upgrade, it, it's, it's still there, which I'm surprised. And that's been, like I said, five, six, seven years now. Still and there. It does take a lot of money to buy all the guns in the game. Yeah. So just take advantage of this and get at least a million dollars. Yeah. yeah, because uh, I was almost finished anyway. Because, like, um, the Korski, the rocket or the grenade launcher, that mess is 46 grand. And, and, the, and, the, and the rocket launcher is like 46 grand. Everything else is like, uh, you got to get it from Burke or Vito or something. But most of the guns here are like 30 and 40 grand. Yeah, so they're expensive. So, like I said it goes fast, dude. 
So guys, it's been Adrian D12 here, and if you did like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and see ya. Yeah, because that's um, probably the best thing, because um, cause like I said, um, I get to the French Ward, I already got like three grand, so. But, but that'll go, like I said, that'll go fast. I think the first time I tried that mess, or discovered it, I had like um, 800,000. And the second time it was like a million. Yeah, because I think you can get it. You can get like two. You can keep doing it as long as you want. It, it takes a while, but it, you know, that's the best um, glitch I've seen. So I still can't get over it. Cause the game is glitchy, period. Because um, I see the comments. Because I watch a lot of the um, the videos. People were like, um, the stuff. Like, I've seen the same exact stuff in the game. The cars exploding for no reason. Cars floating in the air. Um, your car stuck inside the cement. Now it's like, what the hell? It's, uh, I remember the one dude walking off the, uh, the pier and finishing himself. Not the pier, but inside the boat dock. Not wa not watching where he was going and finished himself. So, yeah, the, the game is, you know, it's like a, a thousand glitches in there. It's crazy.